Hi everybody. Today we're here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and we're going to take Old Schoolhouse Gap Trail to um, an old community and there's a waterfall there too. So let's go check this out. Here in the parking lot and here's a ranger's truck and he's got himself a cage back here it says danger do not disturb okay so you guys might know this road here is the road that you take from townsend out to cades cove well about halfway in between there's a parking lot here and this is where you park and you'll take the old schoolhouse gap trail to this hidden gem here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Okay, let's get this hike on the trail. We're on this trail called um, Turkey. No, this is Schoolhouse Gap Road. We're on the Schoolhouse Gap Road. And we're gonna take this trail to Turkey something. It was turkey something. Anyways. Turkey pig pen. Turkey pig pen. Something like that. Turkey pen is what that was. Yeah. And it's thundering. So, yeah, we could have some rain here. So, this is an actual horse trail. So the last couple days here in the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, we've had temperatures close to 100 degrees. It's been extremely warm, um, and it's still pretty warm today. Uh, we're underneath a little cloud cover, but the sun's back out again. So it was thundering a second ago, and now the sun's back out. But, so I'd say what, it's in the 70s I believe right now, but if that sun peeks through, it's going to warm up pretty quick. So this trail is supposed to take us 1.1 miles to Turkey Pen. And then just after per Turkey Pen, there's going to be a unmarked trail. It's one of them trails you got to find that's not officially, you know, a national park trail. Um, so we've never done this hike before. So this is a learning experience for us too. That's cool. We got these uh, a field of these little red flowers. Now I'm starting to learn a little bit about different types of floral here in the Great Smoky Mountains, but unfortunately I don't know what those are. But that's my goal is to get better with all the wildflowers and stuff here in the park. Well, the trail was flat. Now we're starting to gain a little bit of elevation here. Okay, so like back in the day, you could tell that this might have been an actual farming field here. So it's been something like, I don't know, 12 days since we've been on a hike. So yeah, I've been jonesing ever since then. And it feels so good to get out here and listen to the Acadias and and just the wildlife take it all in. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we come up to a sign. It says Turkey Pen Ridge Trail, that way. And then Schoolhouse Gap Road to Chestnut Top Trail, that way. We're gonna take Schoolhouse towards Chestnut Top, but I believe this trail 
should start shortly after this year. Okay, so right from that intersection, you come up to this. This is the trail we want to take. You can hear the thunder in the background. Pretty much it's made so the horses don't go down, but danger. Bears are active in this area. And then there's even a second sign. All right, so we definitely gotta be on the lookout for bears. And we'll just zigzag through here and continue on. Well, it wasn't too hard to find this trail. Um, not like the Advent Cabin. Um, you could tell that it's not really maintained by the National Park. It just has a lot of foot traffic. But this is going to take us to pretty much an old settlement that's down here. And there's a really cool waterfall, too. Okay. I'm going to keep a lookout for bear. This is actually a pretty cool little trail here. It looks like they came through here just recently and bushwhacked some of the foliage. Well, so peaceful and quiet. You can hear nothing but commercial air traffic above <laughs> and the rolling thunder. But um, beautiful here. This is really cool. You can see all these little seedlings. You see all the little seedlings, honey? Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh-oh. That thunder. Okay, so we're on this trail and we ran into two rangers. They're down here trying to trap some of the wild hogs here in this area. So that explains the truck. Um, yeah, that was for hogs. Um, the hogs really are a nuisance to the park and they'll destroy the whole park if you allow them to just run free. So it was pretty cool. They were really, really nice. And but we just sat there and talked for a while. Got some good information from them. All of a sudden this trail had a real steep uh, descent here. So yeah, we're gonna have to climb that up on our way back. <laughs> but other than that, it's gonna be mostly downhill. But I think we've been on this littler trail for at least a half a mile, if not more. Yeah, it's sunny one minute and then it does that the next. Be careful, that's real slick there, babe. You probably take the lower path, would be probably a little bit easier. I know it's hard to show up on the camera, but you could tell wild hogs have all been through here. And we were running into those rangers earlier. They told us they set up a net. And here's a sign that says wildlife, wildlife monitoring, wild hog management, do not disturb. So then we come over to here and you can see that net and they put some uh, corn down. The, the pigs will go down in there and then the net will fall on them and then they'll get them. Crazy, huh? Yeah, you can see where the net is and then the feed for the, the pigs. 
I'm going to tell you, this area has been totally destroyed by these hogs. Are you supposed to walk into that? Yeah, yeah. Just don't touch any of the, uh, the, netting. the netting and stuff. So you can smell the fresh dirt that these hogs have tore up. And man, they really damaged this. Wow. I mean, I know like one pig can destroy like literally acres themselves. Okay. So, okay. So we're in this area and this is the area we want to be in. It's called White Oaks Sinks. So back in the day, this used to be a, a community out here and you can see like relics of that community. So we're going to search for them. Then there's also a waterfall called Rainbow Cave Falls. So we're going to try to find that too. And then there's two caves out here. And we're going to try to find those, but we can't go inside. And I'll tell you about that more in, in a minute. There's a great big huge rock ledge up here. Wow, and the, the temperature just dropped dramatically. So I'm not going to go too close to this cave, but you can actually feel the cold air just roaring out of this cave. I mean, it has dropped probably 20, 25 degrees on the outside. And you can see that they've enclosed this cave off because this cave is protected. I'll show you this sign over here. Okay, so this is a protected habitat for a bat called the Indiana bat. It is an, actually an endangered species of bat. And there's only a few places in the park that it's found. And this is where they live. And we definitely do not want to disturb them whatsoever. So as you can see, uh, their solar panels. This is for monitoring equipment for the bats. Um, yeah. And they got electric fence around it because they have hog problems right now with the hogs. So, can you even see? Okay. So, it is warm right now, but we're standing in front of this cave here and you can just feel that cold air just come rushing out. It's like an air conditioner, isn't it? I bet you it was a 30 degree drop out of here it feels wonderful <laughs> yeah that's awesome and it's actually kind of all smoky around here i don't know if the camera will pick it up i'll try to get some photos of that but wow it's amazing but anyways we're gonna let these bats be seeing that they're endangered so let's have the, let them have their privacy and let's go see what else we can find in the area you can actually see like fog from the coldness of this cave coming out of Oh, my glasses are fogging up as we're leaving that cave there. Felt good standing in front of that cave, though. But I am, I'm worried about the bats. You know, I know they don't come out until night or, or whatever. So, what do you think about that bat cave? Really, really cold and misty. Yeah. It's really cool that we all walked up to it and looked at it. But... What do you think about them bats being endangered? Indiana bats, they call them. Dawn don't, she wants to stay away from the bats, right? Yeah, we don't need to interrupt her um, sleepiness. Sleepiness. <laughs> okay, so we came up to an old grave here called, the guy's name was called Abraham Law. He was born in 1775 and died in 1844. Wow. Just out here in the middle of the Great Smoky Mountains. I guess there's a story that, um, I guess he died in the winter, and they couldn't move his body to Cade's Cove, so they buried it here. And this is where he, he rests. He's buried on this, really, it's a beautiful hillside here. Well, these hogs made such a mess of the trail and everything over there. It's hard to see where the trail starts and begins. I know there's some sprockets over there that's 
from an old sawmill. But I can't really find the trail, so we're going to have to save those maybe for another day. Well, when I kind of get out of this area, I don't think it's real safe with all the boar activity in the area. Definitely do not want to get in front of a boar or anything like that. That'd be bad. So we're going to leave them sprockets for another day. And we're going to make our way out of here. Okay, so this trail here is definitely not well hiked. But you can barely see it. But it looks like there's an old foundation or, or an old wall or something here to one of the homesteads. Okay, so we're on this footpath. It's not maintained. And um, it's not the easiest. We're over stumps and everything else. It's okay. National Park does not maintain any of this. And it's, it's thunder and lightning the whole time. No rain. Okay. So, and I am covered in spider webs. I am just, they're all over, everywhere, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Covered in spider webs and sweat. And sweat. <laughs> okay. This path here should hopefully take us to what they call Rainbow Cave Falls. Not to get mistaken by Rainbow Falls. This is Rainbow Cave Falls. Okay. Let's go see. I think I might hear them. I hear a helicopter. Hmm. Okay, so I got the walking stick. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get all the spider webs. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. Okay, so we're coming up to a cave. I can see a little cloud of fog actually at the top there, and the temperature has dropped dramatically. Wow. Okay, so I see it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Um, it's dangerous. There's a cave at the bottom, and we ran into those rangers earlier. They told us to be very careful because they had a rescue people out of the cave. We're not going to be one of those. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, so what do you think about this? It's beautiful, but don't go down anymore. You know, people are falling to their death. And yeah. you have to go get a ranger to get someone out of there, and it's not pretty. Well, this here is an absolutely beautiful falls. Uh, this one's kind of different because you don't see like a river or nothing. The water falls down from the top of that mountain there and then goes into the cave. So. And then there's more of those endangered species bats in there. So we definitely don't want to disturb them. But no. there's no way you can disturb them. Because if you go down there, you're not coming back up. This is actually real dangerous. I can kind of see the reason why the National Park doesn't label this trail and it's not maintained. It's probably mostly due to it's dangerous. So this is as far as we're going to go. And that's probably the best photography we're going to get out of this fall.
This falls here is absolutely beautiful. And there's a real cool blast of cold air coming out of the ground, which feels awesome on a really hot, muggy day. And as you can see just above us, that's actually fog from the coldness coming out of this ground. Uh, this was definitely worth the hike. Um, even though it thundered the whole time we're on this trail. And it looks like it wants to rain down on us. So behind me, there's a trail over here that's supposed to take us to some foundations of an old settlement here. But it is so overgrown and I don't feel like walking all the way over there in brush to see a couple foundations. So maybe next time, maybe winter time or something. Well, we finally made it back to the parking lot from White Oak Sinks. Uh, what did you think about that area? It's pretty back there. Yeah, and um, it was really cool to see some of the the old relics of the settlement. And those bat caves were awesome. And what did you think about that waterfall? It's pretty. Yeah, Rainbow Falls Cave Falls. Rainbow Cave Falls. Oh. Not Rainbow Falls. It's a different waterfall here in the park. But... Yeah, absolutely beautiful, but a little dangerous. Yes. Um, I think we did, what, almost five and a half miles no. round trip. So. Well, if you like this vlog, then give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you don't miss any more of these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. And there's going to be plenty of waterfalls and hikes just around the corner. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.